podcast. This morning we were talking about the water cycle and what effects. And I think one of you mentioned that it one of one of the effects of water cycle is that we have what we call sea level rise. So we'll be looking at how global climate change and it's and how it impacts our actual sea level. If you notice, we have a picture on the wall projected about a. Who can describe that for me? What you think is happening? Girls first. Evelyn. The sea level is rising. You think the sea level is rising? How about the bear? How about the polar bear? Daisy, please. I think it's raining hard maybe and um, the sea level is rising and the water is causing the ice to melt and the polar doesn't have enough um, ice to stand on so everything is melting here is like a piece of ice standing by itself. Okay, thank you. Yes, Ed. Well, the polar bear, he usually, he's usually on the ice and then maybe he fell asleep and then when he woke up, he's just on that little chunk and then with the sea level rising, all the ice is melting and then he, he might have to swim his way out. Okay, one more. Yes, Kyle. Due to the fact that polar bears live in the most, more, mostly the um, icy, icy places, in global warming, it causes the ice to melt, which will see level rise, and it will cause less room for the polar bears to live on. Okay, so the answers are correct because if you notice, the polar bear is standing on ice and is surrounded around the ocean or the sea. We're more focusing on more of the salt water than the fresh water. This morning, you guys focused on the fresh water, right? When you guys saw the water cycle. Now, first question. I like Marcelina to please read the first question for me. Where can a large masses of ice be found? Okay, Alexander, what do you think? Large masses of ice can be found at the North or South Pole. In the Northern or oh, Southern Pole. Okay, how about uh, Glendy? Where can we large masses of ice be found? Mm, Antarctica. Antarctica. Okay, how about in our uh, refrigerators <laughs> yes no yes yes large somehow okay so basically with large masses of ice can be found in northern and south poles and then we have antarctic and so forth the second question let me have evelyn is ice on land or water okay is ice on land or water alexander ice is usually on water Ice is usually on water. The question is, so how about you, Yadira, what do you think? I think ice is on both land and water. Okay, you think that ice is found both on land and on water, okay. Very good. So we have the third question. Edwin, read the third question for me. Does it matter whether the ice is on land or water? Irma, you think it, is, it matters? Yes, it matters. Why you, why you say that? Because there are some animals that live in water and land, so they need both. Okay. Concerning the sea level rise that we're gonna about to talk about, do you think will it matter? Yes, sir. Yes, it will matter. Okay. We'll short do a short activity later on in the lesson to see if it really matters or not. Okay. Finally, will one or both cause sea level to rise when melting takes place? Daisy? Both of them. You think both of them. Here are some pictures of melting glaciers in different areas of the world. Okay, this is the first one. This one here shows the mount at Kilimanjaro, which is in 1912, you notice the white section is basically where the ice is. Now in 2002, what happened to the ice? We have Evelyn. It melted. It melted. Where did you think that ice went? All that ice. Into the sea or land. Into the sea or land. Very good. Now, what you think, we go to Yadira, what you think happened or caused the ice to melt or to disappear? Global warming caused it to melt. Okay, you think global warming caused it. Very good. This is another picture. If you notice, the, in this one, the ice is melting. In, at the corner here, you see the little chunks of ice that the water washes the ice away so that then it turns to 
rock land or rocks so eventually we won't have any ice question this is another glacier remember who has seen the movie titanic what happened to the boat titanic yes Steve. the ice broke the side of the titanic the titanic crashed on the ice on an iceberg and what did it do well it pierced a hole it tore a hole on the, on the ship on the ship okay and then the water started to pour in so in other words ice is what using the type of matter what type of matter it is it is a solid very good melting glaciers and ice sheets most pronounced effects of climate change has been that melting of my masses of ice that cover about 10 percent of the world's land area and exists on every continent except australia so ice the glaciers can be found around the world now i want you to turn to page 69 on your student's book, Activity 1, Worksheet 1. Now if you notice there, then we have the first underneath number one, it says question. Now what question? The question is on, on the wall, which of the melting ice will cause a greater increase in sea level? We just discussed it. So in number two, I want you to predict which ice will cause sea level to rise, the ice on land or the ice in water. In number two, write your prediction. Let's have a male student predict first. Yes, Erwin. Well, I would say the ice that's on the water, since it's already in the water, once it melts, it goes directly into the sea. Okay, very good. So we'll record that prediction. And one of the girls, Crystal. I think the ice in, in water will cause increasing increasing of sea level rise because it, because it is on water and has many chunks of ice. Okay. Who chose the ice on land? Nobody? Okay. Let's do the experiment and then we'll come back to those predictions. Okay. So the fir in front of you have two dishes and two cups of cube ice. You also have clay, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is take the clay and I want you to, to create half of the dish land. So we'll simulate that it is land that we're making. So it has to be the same height for the two dishes, all right? That's why you have rulers for you to measure them. In other words, we're making our little shoreline.
Okay, next step. You'll notice that you have two disposable cups filled with ice cubes. Now we need to make sure that we're going to use approximately six, four ice cubes. Now, we'll remember what we, what we should have predicted. Ice on land or ice on water will cause sea level to rise. Now, I'll use Marcelina's one. This will simulate that this is land. Then, so the next slide shows that what we'll need to put. Ice on the land, which will be top of the clay, and ice, ice in, on the, in the tree, which will simulate the floating ice. How many cubes of ice will be used? Okay, equal, right? Okay, now you're gonna, they have a dish full of water and you're gonna pour in the water until the ice that is found that represents the floating ice fully floats. Okay, so to cover it until the ice floats. So do that for me now and then measure the amount of water. Remember, the ice needs to float because it is representing floating ice. Using the ruler, you measure the height of the water. And if you notice in your activity sheet, it has land, land lock ice and floating ice. With the measurement, you record your measurement. Now you do the same thing for the one with the floating, the same measurement for the one with the ice on the clay, representing the land lock ice. So pour in the water the same height yes on the land landlocked ice remember it has to be the same measurement record the measurement and in one minute i'm gonna do guys record again Please record it in your activity sheet, the first measurement. So notice it asks for millimeters. Okay, measure again, and that, so where it says number two underneath the time, you measure again. Thirty seconds, then we measure again. Okay, let's go to the, the third, where the number three is, and you measure again, and you record your measurement. If you notice on the right hand, hand side of, of that table, you'll notice that it has a space for comments. Write a comment for me on your observation. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, me? What did you observe when you look at the floating ice and the landlocked ice? The ice melt. Okay, did the ice the ice melt on the two on the two of them? Two dishes or only one? Only one. Only one? Mm. On the boat. On both of them? Okay. How about you, Leticia? What did you observe? I observed that um, the one on land take a little while to melt and the one in floating take faster to melt. Okay. One more person and we go to um, Marcelino. Did you observe? You were right in front of me, Marcelino. The ice that was on land, it melt slowly and the one that was, it melt rapidly. Okay. Again, you, you observe that the floating ice faster than the one on land okay using your using your measurement Daisy what did you start off for the floating ice what was the starting measurement on the floating ice on the floating ice it first was on 20 millimeters and then mine's rise up to 22 22 okay. Erwin in the, in the landlocked ice, what was your measurement? When I first placed the ice, it was at 20 millimeters, the same as the other one in my group. And then after a while, it went up slowly, 21, 22, 23, and right now it's almost at 24. It's almost at 24. Okay, Glendy, your, your floating ice, 20 millimeters, and it concluded that? 23 millimeters. Your landlocked ice? 15. And the last measurement was? 20. 20. So if we look at the observation, we can safely say that, the, the, that floating ice will melt what? Will it me melt faster or slower? Faster. It will melt faster. If I take Glenda's, Glenda's measurement, she started at with the floating ice at 20 millimeters and, and the last measurement she took was at 23 millimeters. By how much did it increase, Alexander? It raised by 3 millimeters. Okay. Um, Edwin, for, in Glendy's observation, she had 15 millimeters for the landlocked ice and she, the last measurement was 20 millimeters. By how much did it increase? It increased by 5 millimeters. It increased by five. 5 millimeters. So which one had a more increase in sea level? The ice on floating one. If we take her yeah. measurement, her floating ice was 20 three. millimeters. The landlocked 23, ice. <laughs> which was 3 millimeters. Alexander said, you said that 15, she started at 15 and concluded at 20. That was 5 millimeters. Which one had an increase, a larger increase? The, the landlocked ice. The landlocked ice. But the floating ice melted quicker. quicker or faster. Okay. In previous lessons, you noticed that with the water cycle. You notice that the water cycle, when it rains and so forth, it has to go through the, through the normal. Sometimes you have the runoff straight into the sea. Sometimes it goes underground and then it goes to the underground streams and so forth. Eventually, where does those streams end up at? In the oceans, in the sea. Okay, so even with this experiment, we notice that, yes, floating ice does melt faster, but what causes a more larger increase was the landlocked ice, because the ice already is in land, and when that ice melts, it turns from a solid to a what? Liquid. To a liquid. And that liquid eventually finds its way to the seas and oceans. All right? Are you sure? Yes. Good, Glenda. You are sure. So again, in in the situation we just mentioned that in the land, the two different observations we made. Again, the in the floating ice, it melted faster, but the greater increase was in the landlocked ice, which which melted slower but had a more effect. Okay. Now, how did the results compare with your prediction? I asked uh, a girl. 
Yeah, Dero, what did you predict? Let's refresh my mind. I predicted that the water will, will increase the sea level. The floating ice. Okay, how was it? How different was it now? It was basically the, the same. Okay, now we know we talked about fresh water earlier in the earlier lessons, and we're now talking about salt water, which are basically the seas and the oceans. Okay, so we're gonna do another activity concerning those two. Now, if you notice, you'll have. I want you to take one of them, one of the trays, with. Okay, and have the little water on it that has land higher than the water. What occurs? Ice. Ice is fresh or salt? Yemi. The ice is fresh. Fresh. So what do you think will happen if fresh water is added to the sea water or the salt water? Anybody wants to help? Yes, the idea. The fresh water will also be mixed with the salt, so it will turn salty. Fresh water will be mixed with the salt water, but, and it should become salt. But if we add on and add on salt or fresh water, what will happen to the salt? Edwin. The, the salt would have a lower density in the sea, in the ocean. Okay. So we'll, we'll be looking at, we'll do another activity which we'll notice it. In this case, you have, you have a blue ideal. But notice it is half frozen already. So I want you to take the, the hardest part of the ice, which will then signify ice melting, and the water will represent the salt water. And we'll see when it, what effect it has. So as soon as you put it in, you'll notice that the water will change. Please observe what occurs. So you may cut. Find the ice, try to find the ice, and place it on top. So when the fresh water melts, what will occur? Put the ice on the land. Go to Adira. Carissa, Carissa. Carissa, put a little bit more. Put it here, Edwin. Take all the ice and put it on top. Up, easy, very good. Sir. Now, please observe what is happening to the water. Okay, you hear me? What did you observe? It, it got mixture. It was it okay. It mixed. Very good. How about you, Christian? The water got color. Okay. And it was spread um, rapidly. The color mixed and it spread rapidly. If you look at it in the picture, you'll notice that if the darker blue is on top, the fresh water will be more on top. So if we were dealing, if we had fishes in salt water, where will the fish be? Will the fish be on top or they will have to find they'll have to dive deeper. So in other words, it will be, they will be displaced, right? So that means they need to find more salt water, so they'll need to go more down. S meaning that, if, for example, if we take the fishermen, what, what will they have to do? They'll have to, okay, they'll have to dive deeper, or they'll have to have longer fishing lines so that the lines go way down to the bottom. Why might we be concerned about sea level rise? Yes, Edwin. Countries that are below sea, sea level, which could cause a problem when sea level rises, because the people would be forced to draw back from their land, and some countries, some countries would be left with little land on. Okay. Very good. How about you, Marcelino? What do you think? Why should we be concerned about sea level rise? Soil. Flooded and eventually it will, you'll have soil erosion and it will wash away. Okay. So the first thing that about our concerns is that coastal areas will areas will be flooded, just like Edwin mentioned. Second thing is people will start to lose their homes, especially if you li live in the coast. 
Okay. Thirdly, some fresh water resources will become too salty to use. And, uh, and the fourth one, habitat loss will occur. How can we help to slow down the process by using fossil fuel? First one. Irma, please read the first one. Take public transit instead of driving. Okay, so we carpool because the more the earth gets hotter, the more faster the ice will melt. Second one, uh, Glendy. Eat local food. Eat local food. Daisy. Turn off lights on electrical equipment when not in use. And the other one, Yadira. Plant a tree. Plant a tree. And then finally we have Rosalina. Reuse, reuse, and recycle. Okay, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Some key points to remember. Glaciers and ice sheets are the world's largest reservoir of fresh water, holding approximately 75%. Most of the world's glaciers have lost its mass. Treat of this ice occurs when more ice melts each year than it is able to repl be replaced. Temperatures and precipitation of particular area are key factors to, for glaciers to replenish themselves. Best documented example of glacial retreat has been on Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, the picture that we had previously. Okay, so to end off, I like to recap. Remember that with the floating ice, it melts faster, but the landlocked ice gives off or may causes the sea level to rise. Ice already is in the ocean when it is in the float in, when it is floating ice, which which does not contribute to sea level rise, but ice covering the land will contribute to sea level rise upon melting. Thank you.